Hi, Geeky Call here with a tiny tutorial for you on disenchanting troops, why you would want to do it, and how to do it. So, I have this sorted, as you can see, by amount. I have Dragonette, for example, ascended to Mythic, and I have 33 copies of it. I don't need 33 copies of it. Now, when you're disenchanting troops, what's going to happen is I'm going to disenchant all extra copies and I will be left with four of each mythic. So I don't have any natural mythics that I have four of. I have two max of each natural mythic. I'm talking about the ones that have been ascended to mythic. You've got multiple copies. You don't need them. So how do you do it? Click on any card except for one of your treasure troops. Click on any card. Click on disenchant and then disenchant all extra troops. So anything that's been ascended to mythic or anything that's a natural mythic that you have more than four copies of, you can click on this and get some, some, um, some souls. So I crafted, um, I crafted Dawnbringer yesterday and that costs, you know, over a million souls to do. So for me, 53,000 is a little low. We're gonna disenchant troops. Let's see what this does all mythic troops down to four copies look how many extras i have this does not affect your legendaries this is only the ones that are at mythic so disenchant get myself some extra souls back over 120,000. i'm much happier with that so let me go back here Up well no not upgrade so i can't disenchant more than that but now look dragonette is now down to four copies you don't want to go below four copies on your guild guardians. Let me show you the guild guardians and I'll explain why. I explained this in another, um, another video, but let me do that again. You can disenchant individual copies and you can disenchant them to where you only have one copy. And that's fine, you can do that, but never do that with your guild guardians. And here's why. When you're opening guild chests, something like 50% of the cards that you get opening guild chests are going to be these guild guardians. So once you have the guild guardians, four of them up uh, quantity on when they've been upgrade, uh, I can't speak, I'm so sorry. Once they've been ascended to mythic, when you have four copies of them, you will no longer get those drops from your guild chest. That means when you're opening guild chest, you're getting more of the cards that you really want to get. So having four copies of, of each of these, you definitely want to do. Um, so let me remove that part of the search. We'll go back to all. And let me just pick one here. So Dragon Spirit. Don't really care about the Dragon Spirit. Don't need four copies. Upgrade disenchant and I can get an extra 150 souls if I want to disenchant three of them. I'm not going to do it, but I could if I wanted to. Um, this is something that makes it really nice once you get to the point where you're getting lots and lots of gold keys and you're getting lots of these troops and you don't, don't need them, you can at least disenchant them and get some extra souls out of it. Now, these treasure troops, I don't recommend ever ascending them, and I don't recommend ever disenchanting them, although I have disenchanted the gold rings before. Um, you can do that. Gold rings are pretty much useless, but, um, you know, early on is, you're going to need them, but I don't recommend ascending or disenchanting these, just for your sake. Um, and. I have other things to say about the treasure troops. I will do that in another video about the delving and the underworld. So that is it for the, the uh, disenchanting of troops. I hope this was helpful to you. Please like and describe. <laughs> I can't speak tonight. I'm so sorry. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.